Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and today I'll be teaching you how to make fold a tulip. You'll need two pieces of paper, one for the flower and one for the stem. If you want a flower, um, a tulip that has the same flower both for the stem and the flower, you only need one piece of paper. You'll also need a ruler and a pair of scissors. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, like this video if you like this video. I would also very appreciate it if you can watch to the end of the video. Now, let's get started folding. You'll first need your paper for the stem, your square piece of paper for the stem. And... For the long side, you'll need it to be 6 inches or 15 centimeters. And for the short side, you'll need it to be 1 and 6 eighth inches, which is... Let me show it on my paper ruler because I don't know why I accidentally put my um, actual ruler. But you'll need it to be 1 inch is right here and 6 more like small parts. So right here, two before two inches. If your paper, your long side is um, shorter than six inches, don't worry about that. Um, you just need to um, minus how much it's less than six inches um, to the short side. So for example, if the shorts, um, if your paper was five inches um and the short side is supposed to be one and six eighth inches your short side is going to change to six eighth inches like that so i'm gonna cut mine and we'll s um see you in a second now i'm back um now you're supposed to have something pretty similar to mine and we're gonna put this to the side to use later. And now take out your paper that you're... Okay guys, so now I have my square paper back and you're wondering why did it, does it have so many creases already? I accidentally um, folded it the wrong way the first time because I was trying to unfold it, but now I have it right. So take the bottom right corner and fold it to the top left corner. Crease it. Take the bottom left corner and fold it to the top right corner. Crease it. Turn it around to the right side. Take the bottom corners and fold it to the top. Crease it. And take, you can take the right or left and fold it to, if you're folding it, from the right to the left, just um, open it. And then turn to the red side, or the color side, I mean, and put the corners facing you. And then put your two fingers on the left and right corner and push in. And then do that. Now, you don't want to fold on this side, so you if there isn't an opening on this side, don't fold on this side. This is the mistake I made last time, so I need to remind you guys. And turn it around to the side where it's open. You can open it. And you can cut this part if you want to. Then fold the right corner to basically the bottom left I mean the bottom middle and fold the left side to the bottom middle too just like that now turn it around and fold the corner to the bottom middle just like last time and fold the right side to 
to, as you probably have guessed. And then fold this flap together and fold these two flaps together like that. So then fold this flap to the middle as well as this flap. I mean flap. And turn it around again. Fold this corner to the middle. Wait, did I call it flat? It may be called it flat. And fold this corner to the middle also. Now, it's time for your scissors. Cut a little bit of the bottom. Don't cut too much though. Cut a little bit. Just like that and then put it in a recycling bin. Now, you can open the top. So this is your tulip, the top of the tulip. And now we're gonna make the stem. So take out your green paper. <clears throat> Now you won't need your scissors anymore because you won't be using it again. So, turn to the white side. Fold from the bottom to the top. Just like, I guess you could call this just like when you're folding cards, you have to fold in a row. And then open it, turn it this way when it's top, and take the bottom right corner, fold it to the middle, like a triangle, and take the bottom left corner and fold it to the middle also. Take the top right corner and fold it to the middle. Guess what I'm gonna say? <laughs> take the top left corner and fold it to the middle too. Then, take <clears throat> this corner and fold it to the middle. Take this corner and fold it to the middle. Don't try to not make this triangles, these triangles go in like that, <clears throat> but hold it and do that. Same with the top. To the middle and this to the middle you can sometimes turn the paper in different directions if it's hard to fold and now you need to fold the last two parts that you need to fold in the middle take this small corner that's Barely doesn't matter where it should be. And fold it to the middle. Make it overlap to the top. And do the same on the other side. On the left side. Now this time, don't do the same on the top. Only do this on the bottom. Then fold the bottom to the top right. And flip that paper around. Now fold it the small part in the middle. If your paper does this, like where it has the white part. Open it again to the last step where it's on the step. And try to make it overlap a little bit more on the top. It's okay if these overlap. And then do the same thing 
hold it in the middle. It doesn't really matter if there is one on the top of the other, you can still hold it in the middle. You just need to do that. Also hold the brass in the middle. Now you have to stem for the flower. Put the flower on top of the stem. If you notice, you cut a hole that's too small, you can cut it larger. And here's your two up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Bye guys!